Listen, the enemy wants to destroy our relationship with God. He does not want us to be intimate with God, none whatsoever. For us to be intimate with God, have a relationship with God, means that we will always be victorious, okay? We will always be conquerors, okay? And the reason why we will always be victorious and conquerors is because we entered in properly, okay? And whenever you enter in properly, that means you are under a protection, okay? Listen, in John, I read it, John 10 and 2, it says this, but he that entereth in by the door is the shepherd of the sheep. Then go down to where it says, verse 9, it says this, I am the door by me. If any man enter in, he shall be saved and shall go in and out and find pastures. Jesus is the way, right? The truth and the life. No man cometh to the Father but by who? By Jesus, right? In Jude, right? It says, now unto him who is able to keep us from falling and to and who is able to present us faultless before the glory. We are only able to enter into a relationship with God through who? Through Jesus. And because we have decided, y'all, to follow Jesus, this means the enemy is highly upset. Why? Because whatever he throws our way, it does not work. Whatever weapon he forms against us, it does not work. Whatever affliction he throws at us, it does not work. And he's tired of losing. He wants to win. He really wants to win, y'all. But as long as we're in a relationship with God, he will never be able to win, that is. He will never have the victory over us. Never will he do it. Now listen, because of this, he's got to find a way or in other words, find a loophole so that he can win. And what God showed me was this, that the enemy is going to try to breach. And what he's going to try to breach is our intimacy, our relationship. Now, let me tell you how God showed me. He showed it to me in a dream. I was dreaming y'all in the spirit realm, right? And I saw myself inside of a house. The house in the spirit represents our vessel, right? Inside this house, y'all, God only allows me to see a bedroom. I don't see a living room, a kitchen, a bathroom, or none of that. I only see a bedroom. Now, listen, I don't go inside the bedroom. God just have me to stand in the doorway of the bedroom. In the Bosiah, just the doorway. Now, you heard what I just read to you. That Jesus is the way, the door, right? So I'm standing in the doorway. And as I'm standing in this doorway, I'm looking around in this bedroom. And I'm noticing that this bedroom is fully furnished, right? And as I'm looking around in this bedroom, right? I noticed on the side, on this side of the wall, next to the door frame was a round white device. Initially, it looked like a smoke detector. But I knew it wasn't because smoke detectors are normally located high up on the wall, at least on the ceiling. So as I'm looking at this white device, I'm trying to figure out what is this thing? What is it? And strange. Strangely, y'all, it looked as if it was government instructed to be in the house, like it was ordered by the government to be, like a smoke detector or a fire extinguisher. It looked like it had a purpose, right? And it looked like you could not remove it off the wall. So there I was trying to figure out what that thing was. And then my eyes catch wind of the window. I'm looking at the window, y'all. And guess what I see? I see a white drone robot floating to this window, AI device. And when I saw that device, I knew in my spirit that it was coming to breach that bedroom, which represents intimacy and relationship. And because I knew that it was not supposed to breach, it was going to try to come in illegally. The Holy Spirit unctioned me to take my right hand and place it on the white device on that wall. And when I covered that white device with my hand, my right hand, that drone robot went away. I removed my right hand. Guess what? That drone robot came back. So when I woke up, I began to ask God, God, what is this? Because immediately what came to me was where AI, AI came to me. I was like, Lord God, what is this government up to? 
What type of breach are they going to try to bring in that will allow the enemy to see into our lives? That will allow the enemy to breach us? Because like I said, that white device looked as something that was innocent, government regulated. But what God revealed to me was that that white device was giving signals, had a connection on the outside with the drone robot to give it permission to breach, to come into the bedroom. And when I was asking God about this, God reminded me of his word in Isaiah 41 and 10, that God said he will uphold us with his word, righteous right hand. Now I told you God only allowed for me to stand in the doorway. What did I just read to you in John? That Jesus is the door. A matter of fact, the first, the first verse in this says, Verily, verily, I say, Abba, Basaya, I say unto you, He that entereth not by the door into the sheepfold, but climbeth up some other way, the same is a thief and a robber, which lets you know that that drone robot was coming in as a way. Thief and a robber. In the word of God, it says this, The enemy comes to steal, kill, and kill. And to destroy. If you go down to verse 10, it says this the thief cometh not but for to steal, to kill, and to destroy. I am come that they might have life and they might have it more abundantly. This is what Jesus is saying. And Jesus is saying, as long as you are staying in a relationship with God through Him, through Him then guess what? You shall be protected. God shall protect you with his righteous right hand. The enemy shall not be able to breach your relationship with God. Now let's go over to Romans 8 because I'm giving you confirmation, okay? Romans 8 and 35, it says this, Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or peril or sword? As it is written, for thy sake we are killed all the day long. We are accounted as sheep for the slaughter. Nay, in all these things we are more than what? Conquerors, right? Through him that loved us us right for i am persuaded that neither death nor life nor angels nor principalities nor powers nor things present nor things to come nor height nor death nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of god which is in who christ jesus our Lord. Listen, as long as you're going through the door, as long as you are going through Jesus, listen, you shall be protected because the only way to have a relationship with God is that you go through the door, is that you go through Jesus. Okay. And what God showed me was that the enemy was going to try to come in and test some of y'all. It's going to come in and try to look innocent, look like it's a necessary, right? And what it is, it's going to be something that is going to try to move you away. God said, let nothing separate you. I don't care who they are. It could be a best friend, a husband, a wife, your children, your co-worker. I don't care who it is. Anyone that's trying to pull you out of Jesus, trying to stop you from going through the door of Jesus. Listen, you better tell them, uh-uh, I'm sorry. Ain't but one way. Ain't but one, listen, ain't but one way. Ain't but one way. Ain't but one way. Okay. Ain't but one way. Ain't but one way. Why? Because it ain't but one God. Okay. One way, one God. That's it. That's all. That's all. Let nothing separate you. Because the enemy does not like relationship. Especially one that does not allow him to have his way. And God said the enemy comes to kill, to steal, and to destroy. And God said through his son, Jesus Christ, he came that we may have life and to have it more abundantly. And to have life more abundantly means that we will live in the purpose that God has for us according to the plans that he has for us to prosper us and to get us to that expected end. To allow us to have the future and a hope that we will live out the thoughts that God has to, uh, towards us that are of peace and not of evil. So listen, stay abiding in God and his word abiding in you, okay? Let nothing separate you from him. Nothing nothing 
God said through his son, Jesus Christ, we are more than conquerors, okay? The enemy wants to breach, but God said not so, as long as we are what? Abiding in him, being intimate with him, in a relationship with him. God said he is the door, and because he's the door, he will be the one looking at everything concerning your relationship with him. And anything that looks out of order, God will protect you. Like I said in Isaiah 41 and 10 with his mighty righteous right hand. Okay. Y'all listen, I love you. I had two things to tell you, but this one right here is already long. So I'll come back with another one. Okay. So this one right here, the enemy shall not breach. Okay. You shall stay in your relationship. Okay. Y'all know I love you, but most of all, Jesus love you too and more. Y'all be blessed. Okay. Ciao.